This is a pretty funny story. As you know, Donald Trump is uh, his trial continues uh, his criminal trial. We don't know what's going to happen with that. But one of the things that has been a danger for uh, Trump, and I think his lawyers have been able to successfully communicate this to him, is that he keeps violating his gag order. And the judge is basically like, look, you know, we're going to charge you the 11,000, which is the top or the other alternative is I put you in jail. But the judge doesn't want people talking about his children or his kids, the judges, or intimidating witnesses or t tampering with the, you know, jury pool. I mean, any of this. And um, so Donald Trump has, has gotten the message. And what he has brought is a um, one of those ventriloquist dummies <laughs> with him named... Um, uh, uh, well, you you may know him as the um, as the villain the from, from Poltergeist Two. <laughs> yes, uh, Lex here. Luthor. Rick Scott is his uh, is the name of his uh, ventriloquist dummy. We're warned at war, so that's why this is happening. Joe Biden knows and Democrat know that he cannot win. Joe Biden cannot win this election. I'm the guy to answer any questions. Do you believe Stormy Daniels or Donald Trump? There's nothing about Stormy Daniels. Let's remember what this case is about. They're trying to prosecute this president for how a how uh, an expense was uh, was uh, the records were done. That's all there was. It's nothing about her. No. Did it have anything to do with the gang order that you being here today? No, I'm fed up. I watched what happened to, to me and my company. I've watched what's happened. I, I've, I've talked to business people over the years, what's happened to them when you have political persecution. And now what I've watched what President Trump has done with all these cases. This is just simply, they don't, they don't want this guy on the ballot. I mean, they, they, they've, they've tried to kick him off the ballot in the states. Uh, they've tried, now they're trying to put him in jail. They've tried everything they can because they know they can't beat him. Do you believe, that's that, it was, a, do you believe that it was a legal in kind of contribution to the Donald Trump campaign? Let's remember what this is about. This is about they're trying to prosecute this guy for how something was recorded, and that's all it is. This is just pure political persecution. Thank you. Will you be joining Trump on the campaign trail? All right. Yeah. It's so funny. This is well. Uh, I mean, aside from the fact that he's obviously been brought up there to be his, um, you know, little ventriloquist dummy. Um, two things. <laughs> One. You have Rick Scott saying, you know, they tried to do this to me. Good. Uh, yeah. Bradley, click on the link I just put there. He knows a thing or two about Rick maybe Scott some. invoked right. the Fifth Amendment in um, uh, hearings on his company's Medicaid fraud. Uh, excuse me, Medicare fraud. Um, I think he invoked it something like 51 times. Uh, I may have that number wrong. It could be, it could be even more than that. Um, the Fifth Amendment, so they didn't self-incriminate himself. They had uh, they had a scam for one point seven billion. Put this uh, headline up there, uh, Bradley. Um, it's uh, behind the paywall. We're working on it. I'll just, uh, I just I'll read it here. Up. Rick Scott tries to rewrite history on one point seven billion dollar Medicare fraud controversy. And it, just to be clear, it you get an insight into how. Rick Scott sleeps at night, uh, despite the fact that his company had the biggest Medicare uh, fraud case, maybe in the history of the country. It's he's just talking about like it's just how the money was recorded. <laughs> it, in other words, it was considered a business expense instead of uh, a, a campaign expense. It, it that's what fraud is, right? Right. You're exactly. defrauding the government. I yeah. mean, I mean, that when I you put, put it like that, it's like when, say, you uh, you commit vehicular manslaughter, you can't be like, I just ran over a bump in the road and I was just moving forward. I had my foot on the gas. What do you expect me to do? Um, he's also this is his desperate plea to be in Senate leadership. Because uh, we talked about this a bit before the show, but people will remember that he and Mitch McConnell had kind of a, a feud in the Senate because he came out with his 
tax plan, which was too obviously tilted towards the rich, or was it, I guess, cutting into Medicare we and Medicaid? To cut the Medicare and Medicaid. Yes. Now, this also follows uh, Mitch McConnell blaming Rick Scott, who was head of the Senate re- um, uh, election uh, committee, the Republican uh, right. uh, re-election committee, for recruiting such crappy um, candidates. And so there was there was a lot of animosity between the two. Um, but, uh, you know, Mitch McConnell is on the way out and right. got us uh, up to Trump to get uh, to get anywhere in the Republican Party right now. Go to, go kiss the ring or go do a press conference for the guy on trial. I mean, he's speaking for me, but not really. He's just here because he's fed up. He's fed up. <laughs> they call him all these people <laughs> who get caught for massive fraud. Like, literally, it's like Trump said, like, you want to see fraud? <laughs> Look at the guy talking. Right. <laughs> Ber- guy Bernie Madoff's coming over, gonna come so into a press conference. So much more fraud than I did. You think I'm a fraud? <laughs> His was $1.7 billion. Mine was just 143000 What's going on here? What are we doing? A human fraud shield. Uh, in a moment, we're going to talk to uh, Ryan Grimm. DC bureau chief at the intercept and of course the co-host of counterpoints uh first couple words from our sponsor uh folks it's getting closer to summer none of your days are calling well you can uh, fuel yourself for those days with factors no prep no mess meals Meet your wellness goals in time for summer thanks to the menu of chef-crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. Factors fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved, ready to eat in just two minutes. That's if you put it in the um, the microwave. Uh, I happen to heat it up on the stove, although I mean I just got a microwave. Uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe it was a year ago, hmm. um, but I'm still haven't quite yet, gotten used to using it yet. I just never had a microwave. Um, I don't know what to, to tell you about that, but nevertheless, it also takes about, uh, I don't know, four minutes on the, on the stove. Hey folks, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out our daily show. We do it every day at 12 PM Eastern for about two and a half hours. We even take phone calls. You should check that out. 